Hey guys, and welcome back to Gold Rush. So I am going to... Oh my sweet buttery Jesus. Let's uh, spin this around a little bit so we can jump out. Okay. Ah, for fuck's sake. Can I, can I, can I, can I get up here? Am I going to have to cheat? Eh. 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 Okay, I'm going to have to cheat. Well, I wanted in the my truck anyway. Oh, never mind. Let's just jump out. Okay, I want to turn you off. Turn you off. Jump my truck. Okay. Let's bounce. Let's bounce, baby. Okay, there's a couple of things I want to check. So there's been updates, and. Uh, First off, I wanted to go see if I could hire any uh, any people because people keep asking me about that and I'm sure that I should be able to buy now. So I'm going to go and check on the little computer. Use it! Transport is locked and... Oh, I need to just spend three grand, is that it? And transport. Alright, cool. So, workers are... Hey! So we can hire people. So it cost me a grand a day. And it does 63% work. Sure. Old Arnold on the... Okay, the big excavator. Sure, that's what you're doing. Ah, and then I can check out the bank and see about my loans as well. See how big a loan I can get. Alright, I can get 366 grand worth of loan. And... Alright, I can purchase it for 600. Alright, cool. Hey, I'm starting to get, uh, I'm starting to get... Some, uh... Passive income, which is good. <clears throat> Right, we're going back to... I want to go into town because I want to have a look at the stuff that was included in the DLC. Um, so, I think we've already spoke about... Oh, apparently that was fixed with the... You see how the door... The doors on the right and left have got like that yellow outline on them? That was supposed to be fixed, but it did not get fixed. Uh, so we're heading back to the store because I want to see the, the things that have been added in the, the new update. But the developers have also updated the game so that the... Um, the wash plant and stuff doesn't require uh, doesn't require slots on your uh, on your claim to get tier three, and that kind of makes sense considering that the like you're you're supposed to have like multiple Frankenstein's in order to make everything more efficient, <clears throat> and without that you would need to get like a f <clears throat> bloody throat a fully maxed out claim in order to to have just tier three. So it was like, it didn't make any sense. Because then you wouldn't be able to get any Frankensteins on it. Frankenstein's been a big conveyor belt things. Which is the name of the DLC. So, right, let's uh, stop here. Turn that off. And see what we can actually buy now. See what's what's new. So these these things were already in it. Uh, Duplex Jig was already in it. The gravel pump is new. The planter is new. I think the planter is less efficient, but cheaper. I think... There's a D-Rocker, big 67,000 bugger. There's the Glacier Creek, I'm guessing for Glacier Creek. Uh, fuel tank we know about, that we know about. Okay, all the rest of that we know about. The Old Arnold's Trommel is new. And the Reinforced Trommel. Old Arnold, uh, costs a lot more. And the Reinforced one's way more expensive. But all of this are like... So you get the, you get the base one, which I think we worked out to be... It was like 260 grand for T3, so roughly 300 grand for T3, and then you can just slowly add the extra bits onto it. And then obviously you can start buying these babies to make everything much more efficient. But you only get half a million for one. That's nuts. That's actually nuts. So I, I look forward to seeing people's, um, people's builds with the Frankensteins and stuff. <coughs> Although, the the thing is, if you're not using uh, if you use one dollar mode to do it, then uh, it's it's not cool. 
It's not cool. Doesn't count, man. You haven't had the work. You haven't put in the work, the hard work, the dedication. You've used the easy way out. And that's not that's not cricket. It's just not cricket. It's like I'm glad that they've not done oh I'm glad that they've not done any major, major updates to the way that the game's uh the way the money's calculated and things like that. They've done the like the little one with those uh with the I'm glad I just skated off that. Um with the slots system and fixing that because before that was just it was kind of silly that's like yeah yeah you can you have to buy all these upgrade slots but and the finish up is going to cost you a couple of million in total it's like what why would it cost me a couple million that's ridiculous <clears throat> all right well that was fun to have a look at I had to have a look at it. I mean, it's a new update. I've been parked on my, my water pipe for so long. Okay, let's start you up and switch you on. <clears throat> let's start mine again. Alright. So there's been those updates and yeah, not much else has really changed for the game, but I'm 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 excited. I'm excited to get my my 300 grand and buy the parcel, and hopefully having my little my little buddy working on my claim will help me out with that. And as soon as we can get another person working, we'll uh, we'll get him going as well. Because we can, we can get someone working on the hog pan. Hog pan, no pump. And then I think I still have, I think I've still got the small excavator. So we could get that transferred over and get someone working on that as well. Which I'll learn is another, another bit of uh, passive gold. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not. It's not going to be a quick earner for us. I don't think it's ever going to be a quick earner for us. But if it's an earner, then it's an earner. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna go this way now. Yeah, as long as it's actually earning though. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we should stick to stick to this direction for now. Yeah, as long as it's actually earning, it'll eventually make its money back. So I think it's like every night at midnight or something that you get you get new people applying. Or is it? No, it's 6 p.m. I think. I think it's 6 p.m. that you get new people applying. So we probably just missed someone. Okay. We are 116 ounces out of roughly. I think it was 300 ounces or something that I wanted. So we've still got a bit of work. Still got a bit of work to do. Alright. Ah, sorted. Ah, well, what can I talk about? Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm kind of busy. Kind of busy with different bits and bobs. Recently, I don't know. I streamed a streamed a game called Station News the other day. It was great fun. Really enjoyed it. Um, so I started a, a series on it. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm um, looking forward to doing that. Um, 
Other than that, like, I don't think there's been anything out of the ordinary. I'm trying to remember why. I've done a vlog, done the... The smoke grenade vlog. I don't know what else I've been doing. I feel like I've just been doing not a lot. Recently. Oh crap, yeah, I, I, I was helping my, um... I went to help my brother with his dissertation. That he's doing, he's doing uh, interior design or some crap like that. So I went to help him with his dissertation. And yeah, that took me four hours. Bloody pain in the ass. But I mean, you do what you do. You do what you bloody well do. I, mean, I don't really mind, like, stuff like that's kind of interesting to me. Like, I did like, um, I did like academics, so, or doing academical things. I know, I like Judy. And it was kind of, it was kind of nice to, like, get that thing back. I know everyone will be thinking, everyone will be thinking, oh, that's so nice that you have your little brother do that. Nah, he's not my little brother, he's my fucking elder brother by five years, he just went to uni late. Classic case of didn't know what to do. Didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. Which is cool, man. I'm I'm like I'm super proud of him for actually going to going to university and getting stuff sorted out. It's pretty cool. I don't know man, it's like some people take a bit longer to decide what they want to do. Hell I went to freaking uni for four years. Um well, went to uni for yeah, four, four and a bit years, and uh, at the end of it, done literally nothing with my degree. Well, I say literally nothing. The it was a lot of transferable skills, but yeah, didn't didn't do anything that would be considered kinda to do with my degree. I don't know. It's interesting. School's interesting. Uh, hundred and sixteen point three. Okay, that one's been used. 116.3 and we're now sitting on 124, so shit then. We're getting less than 10 ounces. And hopefully Denumus will be able to tell me if this is worth it or if I should have just like bit the bullet and moved. Or if the the terrible yields that we're getting off of these Or, uh, just not worth it. I don't have a loan right now, so I suppose that's... That helps me with the timing thing. Ah, uh, 124 ounces. Is like I said before, as soon as we've uh, as soon as we've actually got the uh, the three hundred ounces or whatever it will take to um, to buy this claim, the next three hundred ounces will be so much easier. Some might say we'd get it roughly thirty percent faster. <laughs> We've excavated quite a substantial amount from this claim. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, so so in the in the news, I see in the news. It's freaking not even news. In the uh, Twitter moments today, there was a a vlogger who basically she she turned around. And she was like, um. Oh, I've got I've got a question for you before uh, before I start this uh, conversation. 
Would you guys like me to do a separate series where I just sit and talk about just random happenstance and my opinions on them? Basically what I do with this except in a, an actual fleshed out, like, talking head segment. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Um, but yeah, the... So the thing is, the... This vlogger, Instagram, Twitter, internet personality, basically. Um, she approached a couple of hotels and was basically like, yo, if you if you let me stay in your hotel or give me like uh, a discount on hotel rooms, then I'll make sure to feature you prominently in my publication or like on my Instagram, do a review, blah, 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 blah. So basically what, um, basically what gaming YouTubers do with games where we're like, yo, send me, send me a key and I will cover your game for you. Uh, so she sent us to a few hotels in Dublin and uh, yada yada yada. So basically, what ended up happening was one of the hotels published her um, her email to them, talking about how like she's so entitled, like how what the hell they do, she thinks that she deserves a. Basically, they sent her back a shitty email. Been like, yeah, well, who's going to pay our staff to look after you um, if we give you a free room? Um, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, so I sent her a shitty reply and then posted all over Facebook and Twitter and things about how uh, she's so entitled, like, this generation's really entitled. Expect These vloggers or bloggers, I think bloggers they called them, um, are so entitled expecting to get like three ro free rooms and other shit um, just for exposure. And uh, bearing in mind that the, this girl's entire, it's not like she's a gaming channel or a tech review channel or anything like that, asking for a free hotel room. Um, her entire channel is based, uh, her entire online presence is based around like traveling and lifestyle and that sort of thing. Um, but anyway, uh, it went quite mental with your freaking Daily Mail readers and things going like going crazy, like oh, what does it, they expect to get everything for free just because they've got a following, blah blah blah. And uh, so the the girl done a done a video on it, basically being like, here, listen, this is fucking bullshit. Like you're an adult, this was a like a business thing. Like you didn't have to post it everywhere. That's bullshit. Um, and what ended up happening is her her fans basically started giving the the company shitty reviews, started giving the hotel shitty reviews, and it's like, yeah, okay, that's a bit far. They probably shouldn't have done that, but that wasn't really her fault. That was her fault. She's not in control of her fans. Um, that was like you guys giving, like, if I speak bad about a company, you giving their game a shitty review. It's like, okay... It's as a direct result of me speaking bad about the company, but it's not really my fault that you guys take it upon yourselves to go and give it a shitty review. Regardless, so it's going like all over the place um, on like Twitter with people being like, "Oh yeah, I totally support her," and other people being like, "Oh yeah, she's she's like really fucking entitled for expecting this." One two five. And I don't know. I'd like to know what you guys think, but personally, personally. I'm like, well, that's part of the business. She wasn't a small, um, she wasn't a small creator or influencer in any way, shape, or form. Um, she's got like one, two, five. That's terrible, man. She's got like, um, I think roughly ninety thousand YouTube subs and about the same on Instagram. And if you know anything about Instagram, ninety thousand Instagram followers is a lot. Like, that's a lot. Like, that's, um, that's at the stage that people start, like, flying you across the world and putting you up in hotels and stuff like that. Um. But yeah, like, I was reading it and I was like, okay, let's put it this way. I think it was four nights or something like that that she asked for, which, in my opinion, is a bit of a piss take. But, regardless, say, say it was four nights that she was asking for, um, was that going to cost, like, five, six hundred quid for that hotel? So it's like, okay, you might be thinking to yourself, Cedro, that's a that's not like a lot of money. Like five, six hundred quid. That's a lot of money. But then you've also got to think, 
Like, wait a minute. I am a bit of third of his eyes. And I was reached, someone re from Oculus Rift reached out to me to send me an Oculus Rift. That's, that costs a lot more than your couple of nights stay in your hotel. And that was only for, they asked me just to do two videos on it. Like, I think I've done a lot more than that. I think I've done maybe about five videos or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think they asked me to do like two videos on it. And they sent me an Oculus Rift. And it wasn't even about, like, my videos weren't even talking about the Rift. My videos were talking about the game I was playing. So it's like, is it really entitled when it's a business transaction? She's using her platform in order to advertise to a target market that is, that would actually be interested in staying at your establishment when they go to Dublin. So, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, it's much more likely that I'm going to sell an Oculus Rift than she's going to sell a numerous night stay. But, the point that you've always got to remember, and the point that I always say when it comes to things like like the Oculus Rift or like um, giving out uh, game codes to creators, it's like, I only need to sell one. I only need to sell one. I only need to sell one copy of that game, one Oculus Rift to someone who uh, was never going to buy one in the first place. And then that's you recouped any losses. And it's the exact same with the hotel. It's like, she only needs to get one person to stay there for the same length of time that she has. And that's you recouped any losses that you would have had from her staying there. So, like, what's your... What, I, I don't understand the problem. I literally don't understand the problem, especially with someone who's got the... Uh, the reach that she has. It's just funny, it's like, even, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it just pisses me off. It's like, she says the best in her, in her video, which was, get with the times, man, get with the times. <laughs> like, social media advertisement is so powerful, so powerful, because there's a reason that they call us influencers, I fucking hate the term, but there's a reason that they call us influencers, because we do influence people's purchasing choices. We do influence people's attitudes, people's opinions on stuff. We do, like, whether whether or not people agree with that or not is totally up to them, but even if it's in a slight way, people get influenced by the words that come out of our fucking mouths. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Going to, going to war with uh, YouTubers, vloggers, whatever the hell you think is probably not the best idea, but also, the guy was a dick, like proper dick. So, uh, yeah, probably not the best idea, mate. Uh, but unfortunately, guys, that is all that we have time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.